All right, everyone, how's it going? We are out on Lake Louisville right now. We're actually fishing two tournaments today at the same time. We're fishing one of the uh, NCX Bass Elite Series Grapevine Louisville Series tournaments, team tournaments. Um, and then we're fishing the Team Trail Outdoors Kings of Cowtown Qualifier, the one we fish every year. So fishing two tournaments the same day. Um, hopefully we can get on them so we can do good in both events, but should be a fun one. This is pretty much my first time out on Louisville this year, which is crazy. Um, and Ian hasn't been here in a while either. We didn't practice, so we're just gonna see what happens. Y'all stay tuned, let's get after it. I think this is about as good of a light uh, of a potential for like a lights out shallow bite as we're gonna have today. Yeah. Fish. Not what you want. Alright guys, that is exactly what you want right there. Classic winner. Bye little buddy. Gotta let him. It seems like you gotta let him take a little while.
two. interesting getting back. That's what we're calling, guys. Decent gain, actually. Bye, bud. That's like 
actually a retardant five pounder. number two. You think your spot's still smaller? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. That's nice, Cole. What's up guys just wanted to come on here and kind of tell you a little bit about how we did and how we caught them in the tournament um, first off let me look at my notes here um, so we ended up weighing 7.98 pounds on our best five fish and finishing up in 12th out of 22 at the KOC qualifier tournament and 8th out of 21 in the NTX tournament so not a terrible finish, but definitely not what we expected. I know two years ago we won this tournament with well over 23 pounds, so we're just trying to replicate that every year and just decided to fish both because uh, we're in the first one, might as well try to win the other one as well. So fortunately not the finish that we were hoping for, but we we had an interesting day. We caught fish, caught small fish in periodically throughout the day it wasn't like it was a terrible day of fishing just couldn't find any big bites really um a lot of our fish kind of came in the last hour and a half two hours at least of all of our keepers uh, most all of mine were on a drop shot i believe and then tristan caught one or two of our keepers on a wacky rig so it, it was tough, bright and sunny outside. We couldn't really find a shallow or deep bite. I know the water was like three and a quarter feet high, so a lot of people were flipping bushes. We tried that, caught the one fish that you saw out of there, but couldn't really make too much more out of it. Um, unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. I know the winners caught theirs uh, fishing, I believe the same marina that we were fishing, Tower Bay. And uh, they were just flipping the deeper docks, something, throwing something alongside of those, and then just pulling out big post bond females that had kind of moved off. But it was really weird. We honestly hadn't practiced in at all for this tournament. The last time I had been on that lake was probably about a month before and like a Friday nighter. We didn't really do super hot in that one either. So it was just kind of a crap shoot and hope we had something that stuck. So fortunately it wasn't the greatest for us, but... 
we did end up seeing up shallow in our favorite. We call it the U. It's really hard to get back in there, but water was three and a quarter feet high. So we actually crossed over the parking lot. Uh, there was an area that my boat was drafting just shallow enough to where we were able to barely scooch across there. And we caught a few of our keepers back there, as well as on the other side of the point that's easily accessible for most people. But when we were back there, as you kind of saw in the video, I kind of quickly reeled in my bait and then switched to chatterbait. I had seen a five pounder just kind of cruising along the surface of the water. And Tristan was just talking about, uh, right before we saw that fish, about a dumb fish that was just back there for no apparent reason. And we unfortunately stumbled across that fish and it just did not bite the chatterbait. Um, that was the first bait I could grab that really made sense to try to throw at it it was high up in the water column and just kind of cruising by really fast and hoping to try to s not necessarily snag it but just get something in her face to where she would eat it and unfortunately we were kind of on edge about it and as we went around that area in one of the laps that we did we actually had a seven pounder uh it was substantially bigger than that five pounder that we saw we we've seen a lot of five pounders so we know that one was a five and this another fish that we saw was substantially bigger than that one. So we estimate seven, eight pounds, uh, seven conservatively that did the exact same thing, swam right by the boat and just did not care about us at all. So unfortunately we were kind of around the fish that we needed to at least catch a check or get super high up in the placements of that tournament. If in both of those tournaments, if we had had those two fish, but Unfortunately, the cards just weren't in our favor for that tournament. But if you guys have watched this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, tournament season is kind of slowing down now, so we're still going to try to pump out a video a week, but it might be iffy on if we can get out there. Um, some things that we have coming up, I believe the weekend of like the 15th, we have TTO on Possum Kingdom, which will be really fun. Um, we are skipping... The first weekend, so like the first and second, I believe it is. Uh, we're not practicing that weekend, but I will have a video out with me fishing on Lake Texoma with my girlfriend. And then uh, the weekend before the tournament, we're going to go out there pre-practice a little bit. We are still kind of in the running for AOY in that trail, so we're hoping to have some magic happen. And then uh, after that, I believe the weekend of the 30th, we have the TTO tournament on Lake Ray Roberts. We should also have a practice video the weekend before that as well. So a lot of fishing content coming out in the month of June. Hopefully we uh, land on some big fish and get some good limits for you guys. But that's about all I have. Our thoughts and prayers do go out to the families and people affected by the tornado that ran through the Ray Roberts area as well as my hometown, and Tristan's hometown of Salina. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you guys. But... Other than that, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Here we go at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the flow. Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command.